give us your initial thoughts then, Ryan. What did you think of England's performance tonight? Um, disappointed, obviously. We want to um, obviously win and qualify and get through the group stage. Um, a lot of work to be done um, on the uh, on the on the training pitch, and uh, I'm sure the boys will regroup and try to uh, fix that for the next game. What is that work that needs to be done? What went wrong tonight for England? I think there was a lot of things. I think that shocked us really. I think England were very deep, very passive. I think we prefer to see a, a front foot, high energy, aggressive England. That wasn't there. There was a slight lack of perhaps pressing principles. I think we was all. It was calling out for us to, you know, get out them. I think we allowed them too much time on the ball, allowed Denmark to come into the game. It's a common criticism of England that when they go one up, they take their foot off the gas. You've seen it with both games so far this tournament. Why do you think that is, Ryan? And, and is that a problem? It is a problem because I can't say players think, let's go one nil up and then let's sit back. Mm. There's something that happens subconsciously throughout the yeah. team that needs to be addressed from, from the management. And you mentioned on the training pitch and, and trying to solve some of these problems. They've got another group game against the tricky Slovenia side coming up on Tuesday. You're sort of running out of time a little bit before they hopefully progress to the knockout stages to find out what the best A starting eleven is and B way they want to play. For sure. And you would like to think that before going into a tournament you have that yeah. and you have that rhythm. I think other teams have, have found their rhythm and fluidity a lot, lot quicker. But I would say not all has been been lost you know we still have four points where uh, mm. it's, uh, it's it's how you, you finish not how you start so hopefully we can fix it before the next game one of the criticisms aimed at uh, the manager Gareth Southgate was that perhaps he's not proactive enough in terms of making changes when changes need to be made substitutions for example he pulled off his captain and England's all-time leading goal scorer Harry Kane tonight how significant was that yeah it was I think Gareth tried to Try to deploy another tactic with Watkins, perhaps naturally runs a bit deeper, and uh, perhaps Harry wasn't doing that. But in Harry's defence, I think if he had a clearer tactic to encourage him to do that, I feel he would have done that. So, um, you know, it was a big call. Uh, perhaps if you wanted to do that tactic, probably do it earlier as well. But I think there was more than just exploiting the space in behind that was uh, the uh, problem tonight. Mm. What do you think they do for the next game, Ryan? Uh, are there changes that you want to see from the start? Do you stick with that starting eleven, or where, where's your personal head at in terms of that starting eleven for the next game? I think how we started with obviously Trent in midfield for two games now, um, Foden coming in off the left. But I think if you look at it, I think you know perhaps putting Trent on in more of a natural position and allow him to be expressive from that position and use all his wonderful attributes that he has. Mm. And I think you look at Phil, he's probably our most dangerous uh, player tonight, but when he picked the ball up in the central roles, he created some big, big moments and big, big opportunities. So it's addressing that and perhaps putting people where, where they can shine the best. Yeah, well, well, Jess has had a solution to that. She thinks that it might be a good idea to bring Jude Bellingham back a bit and allow Foden to go where he is now. Do you see that working? 100%. Yeah. I think... Uh, to Jess there. Yeah. <laughs> All you, I want to take no plaudits. Um, but for sure, I think it's one where Phil is look fantastic in the 10. Yeah. Can Jude come back one? And Jude has fantastic attributes. He's a machine. Mm. He can get up and down no problem. Mm. And he has fantastic timing of, of arrival into the box. So he can do that from a deeper role, which then brings Phil into the middle and we can really start to exploit and use everybody's talents. Mm. And in terms of the substitutions that uh, Gareth Southgate made tonight, bringing on the likes of Jared Bowen and uh, Eberé Eza, uh, do you feel as though they made an impact? Are you been impressed by the substitutes' performances tonight? I think we saw, we saw a glimpse of, of uh, Watkins, what he can bring to the table, um, you know, relentlessly running deep. Mm -hmm. I feel the left wing, you need, a, you need a threat, a threat there that puts concern into the opposition defence. And then when, with that concern, perhaps open up spaces for our more creative players between the lines. Mm. Um, so, yeah, the, the changes come, but all a little bit too late. Mm. It's an age-old story, but um, the pressure on the England team from the nation, from the media, I mean, try not to bring our personal perspectives into it, but uh, many people thought the Serbia game was quite a good performance, especially the first half, and yet there's been a fair bit of criticism after it. Does that play into the minds of the players and the manager, no matter how hard you try and stay away from it? And, and will it get worse after this game? 
Um, I think the criticism is always there. You know, yeah. we're a proud nation and, you know, we, we demand the best at all times. So when it doesn't happen, of course, there's, there's calls for concern and people are right, rightful to share their opinion. Mm. But I think that the beautiful thing as that we do have in our hands is the problems are very, very obvious in my opinion. So it's about them being honest and, and uh, exploring them, them problems and hopefully putting it right for the rest of the tournament. You're still backing them to, to progress quite deep into the tournament? For sure. I think we have to have that expectation. And like you said, it's, it's not how you start, it's how you finish, especially in tournament football. So, you know, we'll take the four points for now and, and roll on the next game.